Northam from the hit HBO series True Blood. Now he can be seen in the new film, The Diary of a Teenage Girl. Please welcome the very talented and very tall Alexander Skarsgård. So am I I gotta get on my toes. Yeah, yeah. I gotta get on my toes for him. I know. I noticed that. Oh, I'm, I'm... Welcome to my world. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, last time you were here, you were reminiscing. It was a very painful time about a relationship that didn't work out. Oh yeah. You remember? We that? have a little annual therapy session. Yeah. yeah. Is there anything you want to get off your chest? Anything that's bothering you? There's a lot of. I'm women feeling there. okay. Actually, it was like it's surprisingly cathartic to to hug Michael. Yeah. It really was. I got it. Uh, yeah. Just hugging thank him. You, man. Anytime. Uh, no, I, thank you. Thank you. Anytime. <laughs> yeah. But you just, you just moved back to New York City. Yeah. So um, has it always been your plan to live here? or? I was in L.A. for about 10 years, and I moved out here six months ago. Um, Having a good time? Enjoying I it? I am, yeah. My family lives in Sweden, so I kind of wanted to get closer to them. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, I didn't want to move all the way to Sweden because right, right. I, like, I don't like them that much. Just a but little bit. Just a little New, bit New York is a perfect distance. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you miss the city? I mean, like, you lived here before, didn't yeah. you? Yeah. Yeah. I did. I love it, Lee. Um, yeah. I really do. And I sometimes I miss it, but I was excited to move out here. Yeah. Um, it's an amazing city, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it is. Nothing like Great. it. No. And we're having an epic summer, by the way. We had the worst winter, and you came back at the right time. Well, yeah, I moved here six months ago, but I've been here about four days since I moved out here. So, right. like, I haven't oh, wow. spent that much time here. Well, you going, have you gone home to visit? Um, during well, the no, I went to, I moved out here, and then a couple of days later, I went to Albuquerque, New Mexico for a couple of months. Oh, and another, went, another movie? Yeah, Great. and then Iceland and travel around a bit. And I gotta say, I love Stockholm. I went last oh, summer. One of the best trips I've ever taken. It's a pretty cool city. Beautiful city. Yeah. Really beautiful. Are you gonna go home and visit? Yeah. So when you come home... Today, actually. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. You're le I mean, should you be... Are we holding you up? Uh, yeah. What airport... Come on, guys. Speed it up. What airport are you leaving? Because <laughs> you should probably leave right now if JFK, you're going to JFK. JFK, about 45 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. You, guys right. you might want to reschedule yeah. that. No, I'm excited because we've been on this press tour for Diary for a while now. Yeah. And, um, Today's my last day, so I'm doing oh, this in a Q&A and then to the airport. Oh, that's exciting. When was Very. the last time you were there? Um, like two months ago, maybe, for a couple of days. Oh, okay. Yeah. So what do you what do you do when you get home, though? Are you like, you know, here's Alexander, the superstar Hollywood guy coming home, or they, they still treat you yeah. like Alexander the Kid? <laughs> no, they, um, Alexander the Kid. Yeah, no, yeah. I, I try to see all my friends, uh -huh. go to a football game, um, go to the pub. Or soccer, as you guys call it here. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then go out to the islands and just hang out with my family and oh, relax. Oh, so cool. Yeah. I heard that you just finished filming Tarzan. Is that right? Yeah. Are you playing Tarzan? Yeah. This, this is what I'm talking about. That Come on. is genius casting. Are you resurrecting the loin cloth? <laughs> What does this mean when you do that? <laughs> you don't know. No, no, no. <laughs> Probably what you think it means. Uh, uh, maybe at some point, but the story is begins in England when John Clayton or Tarzan has already been there for a decade. So he's um, a proper British gentleman, uh. not wearing a loincloth, very much in a three-piece suit. Underneath the suit, might there be? There is something. There's, there's something, something under the, there. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Because okay. yeah, he goes back to the jungle where he's from, and then, like an onion, the layers come off. Oh my God, that's incredible. And so do the clothes, I'm sure. Yeah. That's what I mean. Yeah. The layers, yeah. layers. Not yeah. emotional layers or anything like right, that. Right. But when I think about Tarzan, I, rem I remember being a kid oh. going, ah, ah, ah. Do you have to resurrect the screen? Uh, the Johnny Weissmuller screen? Yeah. yeah. You can't really top that. That was. It's a big challenge. So like, right. I, we were. Planer. We will see. We'll see. Oh, we'll leave it at the entry. Yeah. Will he? I think I will he see scream? This movie right now. Yeah. Because I'm like, will he scream? Will there be or will there not be a loincloth? Yeah. We have to figure it out. Yeah. Did you see the of uh, the last version? I think it was the last version of Tarzan. Maybe there was another one with Bo Derek. Do you remember that one? From, from like, like early eighties. Early eighties. Yeah. Do you remember that? Yeah. Oh my gosh, that was so great. <laughs> <laughs> I love Tarzan movies. I really do. And then something else you did that I, I love. I was a big fan of True Blood. Thank you. Very yeah. big fan of the show. You missed it? You missed that schedule? Like the, it's, it's like him 
consistent schedule, right? Yeah. I mean, it was very bittersweet. Mm. It was seven years. It was a good run. I really miss the family and that little, mm -hmm. you know, it was an amazing, amazing experience. Mm. That said, I'm also quite excited to kind of control my schedule and yeah. move to New York or I, you know, right. I, I can, if I want to do a movie for 12 months in Greenland, I can do that. I probably won't, but I could. Yeah, you could. <laughs> but it's because for seven years I had to fit things into that hiatus. Mm -hmm. And, and um, so it's, yeah, it is bittersweet. I, I miss it and I miss playing Eric sometimes, mm -hmm. but I'm also really excited about like taking other jobs and stuff. Yeah. You got a lot of great things going, so it should be exciting. We're gonna be, we'll be right back. I'm gonna take a break. We're gonna find out what Alexander Ward that had people doing a double take at the San Francisco premiere of his new movie, The Diary of a Teenage Girl. We'll be right back. We are back with Alexander Skarsgård, star of The Diary of a Teenage Girl. And um, tell us, tell us about this film. Um, so it's a coming-of-age story about a 15-year-old girl in San Francisco in 1976. Mm. Um, big challenge playing a 15-year-old girl for me. So. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm a very versatile actor. So. Yeah. Um, no, it's, it's, a, it's a story about a girl who uh, lives with her mother and younger sister and her mother's boyfriend, kind of on-and-off boyfriend, um, and she starts a relationship with her mother's boyfriend behind her mother's back. The 15-year-old? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's based on a book, is that right? It's based on a hybrid comic book slash diary. Uh, wow. So it's it's a story from this girl's point of view, basically, um, about this experience coming of age and finding her own sexuality and, and this madness and everything that goes on in San Francisco in the mid-70s and, you know, f falling in love or having this weird connection to this older guy behind um, her mother's back, basically. Now, how did this role come your way? Through... Do you know Jack McBrayer, the actor? Oh, yeah. the of course. The fine thespian from 30 yeah. Rock? Yeah, of course. He's one of my best friends, and we were neighbors in L.A. So I didn't get it from my agents, the script. He basically said, like, this friend of mine wrote a script. Her name is Mari. She's really cool. Do you want to read it? It's, like, super low budget, but it's she's pretty special. No kidding. And I just fell in love with that. I thought it was such a unique story and such a just brave and... Um, I'd never read anything like that from a female perspective, mm -hmm. from a young girl's point of view. It, you know, you've seen a lot of that from, from, from like adolescent stories from boys' point of view. But when it comes to girls, it's quite stigmatized sexuality or, oh, or yeah. that confusion of being a teenager. Yeah, um, it's always quite prude. Mm -hmm. um, and this just felt so brave and honest in a way. Kristen Wiig plays your mm -hmm. girl, the the wife. Yeah, right? I mean the the mother. The mother. The mother. Of, of and I, I'm me. not used to you know seeing her in these like a very heavy role. Nah, I think amazing. people will be quite surprised. Yeah. She's obviously one of the funniest people in the world, and uh, this is quite, it is a funny role, but it's also dark, and she's not a very responsible, present mother. Um, so to do that, but without hating her, like, it, it, it's a tough challenge, because yeah. you, you still have to feel some kind of empathy for her. And I, she, she does a beautiful job. Mm. And at the San Francisco premiere, you wore something that had everybody talking. What was that? Uh, well, I wore a little dress. Thank you very much, Michael. Oh, that would do it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah, there it is. Uh, and a tiny wig. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, that's... That what happened. were you going for? I was, well, I was trying to channel my inner Farrah Fawcett. Uh, you tell me if I succeeded. Uh, I would say you've done a pretty good job. You should play job. Hedwig on Broadway. Yeah. You should. Uh, you look good with that. Uh, it was, it was uh, fun. It was very fun. It's a lot of work. Painful. Isn't it? Yeah. Painful. Oh, oh, please. I have a whole new level of respect for drag queens. <laughs> Don't mess with the drag queen. They're tough. Like if you, their threshold for pain is high. We're gonna take a look at a clip, and in this clip, Charlotte, played by Kristen Wiig, suggests that Minnie goes to the bar with Monroe, which is your character, Ale um, Alexander. So here we go, Alexander Skarsgård in the Diary of a Teenage Girl. It feels so good to imagine that he might be thinking about me. Not that I love him or anything. I'm not stupid. Mm. You about ready, steady? No, I don't think I want to go. I'm already in my skivvies. It's two for one Tuesdays. We're going to watch Little House on the Prairie. Yeah. No, no, no. Come on. You promised. I know. I'm sorry, baby. Just for a couple of drinks. No. I need to get out. I will make it up to you. I promise. I'm sorry. Come on. Why don't you take Minnie? What? 
Yeah. Um, Minnie will go, won't you, Minnie? She doesn't want to go home. Yeah, I do. Where? See, told you. I'm just kidding. A lot of bad things. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's the Diary of a Teenage Girl. It's in limited theaters today and nationwide on August 14th. Make sure you check out <laughs> Alexander Skarsgård. So happy to see you. Coming up next, Peter Faccinelli will be here.